God damn, I need to get some sleep. And said, I'm done with the other boat. I said I was not going to get another boat, but I, apparently I'm on my way to grab, I don't know where to look, to grab another boat right now. Same deal, same layout, same year, same engine. What are the coincidences? What is a coincidence that that pops up right on my logo area? Same layout, everything is the same. Very familiar with that boat in and out. I'm pretty sure I can get it done in two weeks with them. And I'm pretty sure I can knock it down in a week if I have everything. Anyways, with that being said, I'm on my way. I'm going to bring y'all guys and show y'all. Um, the guy, the guy's name is Roland. Very, very friendly guy. He's old. Uh, I'm not too sure how old he is. A very, very good for a uh, person. Uh, he, he has all the titles. He has a title for the boat and motor under his name. The trailer, apparently he hasn't registered it since 2003. He's been using it like that. He knows the person's um that are on the title and we managed to find them so that is a good thing we managed to find uh both the owners because there's two people on the title we only found one person on the title uh, upon further investigation uh doing your due diligence very important luckily we can get the <clears throat> we, we can get trailer registered uh through the dmv with all you need is the bill of sale and the owners so anyways with that being said I'm on my way. I'm going to take you guys and show you the boat. The boat is trash. The boat is literally rot, rotten. The, the rotten. So the boat is no is no prize right now. Okay. But you got to envision these things. You got to see it for, for what you're going to do. If you have it in your head and you know what to do with projects like that, don't let anyone else tell you otherwise because that is your, that is your um, subconscious telling you you can do it. That is an inner you saying that you, that's what you want to do that's that's your creative way of making money and uh if you're looking to do these things or any other things besides these and you want to pursue them go ahead and do it guys you have nothing to lose but the chance to do it so anyways with that being said uh let's go and see what roland has to say oh and another thing i'm very lucky that this guy let, is going to let me do a compression test on the engine he said everything's fine but you never know you can't trust people out here people just want to sell their stuff get rid of it they don't care they lie once they sell it it's a done deal no turning back no going back to their house hey give me my money back you don't know what people have in their pockets they can pull out a gun knife stab you shoot you whatever don't mess around with people out here okay people are crazy anyways let's go pick up this boat and see what all the fuzz is about all right guys we're pulling up right here pulling up to the boat Let's see it over there. Let's see where he's at. All right, little boat's there. I'm gonna park it right here. Uh, it's a nice little boat, nothing too big. <laughs> All right, guys, this is the boat. There's text it rolling that I'm here. Has like a little motor guide. Like I said, guys, this this boat needs to be restored. Just check it out. Same layout, same same everything. Has everything, all the controls, the seat, good trailer, good semi tires. Everything. All right, he's coming out. All right, guys, we're in San Antonio. We got the fast boat and the oh shit, gotta turn. Oh. got the boat <laughs> I got the boat in the back on the way home all right guys check out the new project right here picked this up an hour ago just gonna show you the inside just gonna show you the inside real quick just like the other one the other one didn't have this right here it's a mess all this needs to get redone some older earmuffs new battery all the cushions whatever um floor is rot everything has to has to be replaced got uh has the controls got, has the steering wheel has the gauges has the cooler chest like the other one didn't compression is good on on all cylinders checked it the guy was very helpful he let me do a compression test didn't even take more than five ten minutes on it so uh, very grateful for that. So without, with that being said, I have it out here. I don't have it in the garage 
because there's a bunch of ants in there because it has been sitting for a while. I'm gonna get rid of all this. I'm gonna take everything down right here. I'm gonna take all the important stuff, put it in the garage, um, soak it with a raid or whatever, spray some, some stuff in here. I'll get rid of all the bugs before I put it in my garage. So let's go ahead and do that. Also, I'm gonna buff this out, see if it's gonna buff out, show y'all later. Just like the other one, it leaves you a, a tint on your hand. It should buff, buff out and look uh, brand new. Look at that trailer, guys. That trailer, luckily we did find the proper paperwork for the trailer. The trailer is gonna get registered. Trailer is in very, very good condition. No rust, no nothing. Galvanized trailer, trail boss. That thing is worth about what I paid for the boat, so. Anyways, let's get it going. Put this boat back in here. It's in the driveway. As you can see, I'm gonna uh, take that out right now. Oh, cockroach. Roach. Oh my God, get it. All right guys, I just got attacked by a big ass wasp. Well, hopefully that roach is dead, but. I'm gonna keep spraying this boat because there's a bunch of insects in insects in there. I think there's a, a beehive of wa a wasp nest in here, so I gotta be careful. So I might document more, I might not. Hopefully this uh, video quality is good because I'm recording on my iPhone 13 now that I have a phone. So all right, guys, managed to get the cooler rest out, tilted the motor down. Uh, this I think there's a big ass beehive in there. Full of those red wasps, but whew, I'm taking my sweet time. I don't want to get stung. Anyways, this thing, this thing just comes out like nothing. Like the previous boat on the channel. Uh, I'm not too sure if I'm going to end up doing this or not. All right, guys, hopefully the video quality isn't that bad. I had to replace my phone because it, the battery puffed up and exploded. So now I'm here. Okay. Uh, day three, day, f day three, man. Okay. If not, the floor would have already been in. I would have been laying fiberglass today and this project would have been done by Monday. Tops. A week project. Guys, okay, I was surprised by this boat. I put some uh, screws here where I'm going to screw down the plywood. I try to yank him out with this piece of equipment. Watch. They went in three inch screws on these. They went in. I tried to, to take him out as hard as I can. I couldn't. I could not take him out. Um, I always test these stringers before I even do it because if not you have to reinforce these and screw down your deck Your your deck with something else. So anyways, we're gonna keep on going. This is day three of the project uh, I'm gonna call it a night. It's barely it's barely like 637. So But it's it's dark. I don't want to make noise for the neighbors because everything else is Ready to be installed that one all that stuff uh, I try to clean these, but I'm gonna get some better cleaner later. I'm gonna spray these with the paint. I'm waiting for it. Uh, Amazon is gonna deliver it today, I believe. Hopefully by Sunday, this thing will be ready. We are on track as far as budget-wise, spending everything I got on credit. Everything, uh, that's what I usually do. I get everything on credit. I don't spend a dime uh, just on the actual purchase price. I can put that on credit, but I don't want to but you can do this for free literally you can do these side projects for free um all you need to do is get a good line of credit or whatever but anyways check this motor out this gear case beautiful gear case the guy i know the guy didn't uh he's he didn't lie to me or anything the, i i started this thing up he didn't want me to start it at first but i ended up starting it uh before i took it out i knew i had to take it out because this side of the transom was rotten I replaced the board from here to here uh, anyways this gear case the shift the shift rod wouldn't would not shift I thought the gear case blue or whatever it took out the oil the oil had zero water in it none it's dark the way you want to see it beautiful okay uh, took that out uh, right here it is corroded and it is stuck in there I'm gonna have to end up getting it unstuck uh right now it shifts good up and down you can just you can i'm not gonna move it because once you move this you have to align it the way um it goes it's a it's a headache you have to really leave that the way it is don't touch that ever just leave it motor clean as hell a very very good compression on this very good compression 
a very well taken care of motor because the tilt and trim work flawlessly it it is the best tilt and trim i've ever seen on a boat literally uh, as far as everything else uh i took out the carbs cleaned them uh, i'm gonna buy new spark plugs new wires because they are uh, nasty it, it did not start too because there there was a fuse a red fuse next to next to the starter that fuse was blown as soon as i took that off and replaced it with a new fuse that started uh, also some wires were all jacked up and tested the stator tested the power pack and the trigger timer the tri trigger timer base i tested all those they all checked out i'm still gonna diagnose it whenever i put it on the on the on the boat so like these videos guys if you like these videos 